God sent his son to die on the cross and shed his blood to atone for our sins. This was a gift of God's grace that we could be saved from our sins. Because unless we are saved from our sins, we cannot be reconciled to God and have a relationship with God. When people are converted into Christ, what people think of as a conversion event, when they're saved from their sins, when they're born again, an Ephesians 2.8 salvation event, This occurs not because they earned it or that they caused God to save them. God sent his son as a free gift um, of salvation and we simply accept that gift. It's a free gift that God gives to men if they're willing to accept it. And Paul says, this is not of works, um, so that no one may boast. And so we're saved from our sins, not by our own works, but because of Jesus' death on the cross. But that's not the end of it. If we keep reading, it says that we were God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, for a purpose, to do good works, the good works that God has prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. And the reason that that is so important is because we need to be saved and delivered from the coming wrath of God. On Judgment Day, everyone will be judged by works. And so after we're saved from our sins, and we're brought up to zero, we're brought from the negative up to zero. God can fill us with his spirit and we can start to bear the fruit of righteousness, doing the good works God prepares for us to do. And God does not prepare filthy rags. When we come to that conversion event, what's supposed to happen is that we die with Christ. We crucify the flesh. We deny ourselves. We lose our soul to save it. We're supposed to be dead. We die to ourselves so that Christ may be alive in us. Christ may live in us. As Paul said, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. That's what's supposed to happen. And so if we've died to the flesh, We've died to ourselves because we are flesh. And we die to the flesh in all its filthy rags works to do the good works of God. And God does not prepare filthy rags works. It is God who is at work in the servants of his son, the servants of Jesus, the children of God. It's God who is at work. And the works they do are worked in God. John 3, 20 to 21, you can read that there. So that's why the scriptures talk about those people who are filled with the Spirit are those who are being saved. Being saved from what? They were saved from their sins, but were not yet saved from that coming wrath. And only by abiding in Jesus can we be saved from that coming wrath. He delivers us from the wrath to come on Judgment Day, when all men will be judged by works, by what they have done. <clears throat> and through all of that, no one may boast at all. Because none of it is wrought in us. We died to our dead works of the flesh so that God might be at work in us.
and the works that we do are God's works which he prepares righteous works as John says little children let no one deceive you he who does what is righteous is righteous just as he is righteous first John 3 7 because God is preparing these works in us because these works are worked in God because it is God who is at work in us and because we have died we can't boast we didn't produce these good works God did as Jesus said he's the vine and we're the branches and without him we can do nothing the vine it's out of the vine that these good works come it's out of the vine that this fruit comes we bear fruit because we're just branches of the vine and we die to ourselves so that we might be vessels where God's Son dwells in us and leads us and guides us we can't boast about dying because dying to ourselves doesn't save us we die to ourselves so that Jesus might come into our lives and he saves us Jesus saves us the one who lives in us saves us the Spirit of God in us is what bears the good fruit of God it's where the good fruit comes from it's what empowers us to do these good works of God and all we are are vessels and we've died to ourself we can't boast no one may boast you see people out there have this idea that if we're doing the good works of God then those works are our works and that we may boast before God if we're saved by those works that we're judged by on judgment day that's false our works because we're flesh our works are the flesh and the flesh only knows how to sin and that is precisely why we die to the flesh we deny ourselves we lose our soul to save it we crucify the flesh because it only has filthy rags dead works so we die to that so that our Savior might come into our hearts Jesus our salvation and in the Spirit the Spirit of Jesus good works are produced good works are wrought the vine in us bears fruit see that we can't boast about that those good works didn't come from us did they they came from the Spirit of God they came from God God our Father through his Son Jesus who dwells in our hearts the Father is the fine vine dresser Jesus is the vine and we are but the branches the branches really can't boast about bearing the fruit they're just a place for the fruit to appear it's the vine that produces the fruit and so we can't boast there's no boasting and so all these you know lies out there that are told about you know if if we're gonna be judged by works then we're counting on our own works and our own works are filthy rags it's all lies because we died to that we died to the flesh if we truly did so that Christ might be alive in us Jesus the way the truth and the life who leads us down the narrow road that leads to life the life which few find no one can boast before him because none of it comes from us none of it all we have to do is die and in our own dying there's no salvation our salvation is 
the life of Jesus, the eternal life that he is coming to dwell in us. And so we put our faith in him and entrust ourselves to him to lead us down that road and so that in him, by abiding in him, we may bear the good fruit of righteousness, doing the good works of God, which God prepares, the, the fruit of the Spirit, the good works of God, so that we might be saved from the coming wrath when Jesus comes again in glory. Because that's ultimately what you need to be saved from. Being saved from your sins, your Ephesians 2.8 event, reconciled you to God so that we might be saved through His life when that coming wrath comes. So now we're in the process of being saved in that way. And as Hebrews 9.28 says, you know, Jesus died for sins, but he will appear a second time to save those who are eagerly waiting for him, to save the faithful from the wrath that is coming upon this world. And if you want to be saved from the wrath coming on this world, you need to bear good fruit. Because if you don't, Jesus says you will be cut down and thrown into the fire. And none of it comes from us. None of it. God prepares these works. No man may boast before him. God bless you.